Today I'm making a shape castle inspired by two artists, Paul Clay and Mary Blair. Both artists used geometric shapes to create beautiful pictures of castles. So I have a piece of cardboard and one color of paint, and I'm going to make shapes by printing lines. I'm printing because I'm dipping my cardboard into the paint, then pressing and lifting it off the paper. If I were to drag my cardboard around on the paper, that would be painting. So remember, I'm printing, not painting right now. I'm printing lines to create shapes like squares, rectangles, and triangles. I'm building my castle from the bottom up, almost like I'm building it out of blocks. And you can tell I'm inspired by Paul Clay at this point. Again, I'm just using one color right now. There will be a few colors for you to choose from, and you have to pick and stick to one color for this printing part. And you can use the other colors later when it's time to paint. When I'm done building my castle, I'll use lines to create flags and even some patterns and shapes inside the squares. Now I'm thinking about the art of Mary Blair and the whimsical patterns she included in her castle paintings. When it's time to paint, just remember to wash your brush in the water and dry it on a cloth or sponge before you pick a new color. Take your time and do your best. And just so you know, this type of paint doesn't look super bright when you first paint it on the paper, but it becomes much brighter as it dries. When my castle painting is dry, I'll cut it out and glue it onto a colorful background. Make sure to put glue around the sides of your castle. You don't have to worry too much about the middle. As long as all the sides are nicely glued, then you won't have anything trying to lift up on you. And a good trick too is once you get your castle down, turn it over and give it a nice massage and it'll stick really well. I'll even add some extra details now, like these colorful dots in the sky. And when I'm done, I'll have a colorful shape castle inspired by Paul Clay and Mary Blair. <laughs>